sorrows and grief. Good day folks. Just a few lines about things we all have sooner or later. Hopefully all will live long enough to have sorrow for something we have done, or haven't done, or have had done to us. No doubt all have been acquainted with grief of one form or another, our own, or someone else's, constituting a heavy burden to be sure. Life, all too short and all too painful all too often, at least that is the way it feels when stuck in the middle of it, eh? The worst thing about it is, try as they may, no one really knows what you are experiencing. They care, they listen, they try to comfort as friends and loved ones, but alas. No one really knows save one, the man of sorrows. Here is what the book says about him. Isaiah 53 3, he is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. He is so different from us, our instinct is to hide from him, but don't do it folks, he loved you enough to do the next verse. Isaiah 53 4, surely he hath borne our griefs, and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God, and afflicted. He will bear your tremendous burden of grief and sorrows. Your sin he will take away upon your request. Do you believe Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again? Do you believe he did it for you? If so why not turn your heart toward God and receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, right where you are? You will then have a friend, brother, and father who understands everything you are facing. Till next time, folks. Steve Dunk. Redemption Baptist Church.